Hello, I've risen up from the grave, awakened by the call of a new art challenge. This will be a short but fun video where I push my limits of character creation and variation skills. This one goes back to the age old question about cat's designs. This very interesting art challenge popped up recently that has caught the attention of many Warriors fans. It tackles the idea that there are so many repeating color choices for characters in the series, and it challenges the artist's individual creativity to put a spin on things. The challenge is quite simple. We're tasked to draw a blue star, cinder pelt, ash fur, and crow feather to test our own design flexibility. Each cat is similarly described as being a gray cat with blue eyes, and it's up to me to make them unique from one another. While I'll be keeping their original book descriptions in mind, I'll also be putting my own ideas of how I originally thought they looked into the designs. Starting off strong with Blue Star. In the books, Blue Star is described as a pale blue-gray she-cat with blue eyes. So there isn't too much to go off of there. My first introduction to Blue Star was through Warriors AMVs from back in the day. And when I say back in the day, I truly mean the start of the fandom era AMVs. SSS Warrior Cats Blue Star era. So out of all the characters I need to redraw, she was probably gonna be the most simple color-wise. For these characters, I really wanted to focus more on shapes, tones of color, and finding features above all else. So I concentrated the most on gathering all of the notable aspects that make this leader unique. With blue being a huge part of her character, I used that to be the leading color to make her design stand out from the rest. I also used the notion of blue to make her more similar to the breed of cat known as a Russian blue. This breed is visually recognizable for having a smaller frame with pretty blue-green eyes, a slender face with cheekbones, and short fur. Even though Russian blues are usually a solid gray color, I wanted to give Blue Star another color as a break in the pattern for the sake of simplicity, but also not overdoing it and making her look busy. To separate her out as a leader, I incorporated the little diamond pattern on her forehead to resemble a little simplified star. I also added her shoulder scars as a final touch. Focusing on posing her, I placed her in a pretty standard pose with her head tilted slightly up to show that she is in control and confident of her actions. Posing is another way I really wanted to show their characters and personalities, so I wanted to seem accurate to how she would hold herself in conversation. Here's how Blue Star came out. Up next is Cinderpelt, being described as a dark gray she-cat with pale blue eyes. Her description makes her seem a bit darker than the other cats on the list, so I think she will be the one to stand out the easiest. She's also mostly set apart from the other cats due to the physical injury on her leg, leaving her to walk with a permanent limp. Pretty much every character has one unique trait that defines them using context clues, like Jay Feather's blind eyes or Yellow Fang's flat face. Cinderpelt's injury will always allow the viewer to know that it's her, so I decided to add a bit more to her concept rather than it just being a thin framed cat with some scarring on her leg. This isn't a very popular thing amongst the fandom, but I've always seen her as a cat with folded ears and shorter legs. Her ears being folded would definitely separate her from the rest of the bunch, and making her more round in shape will make her the friendliest of the bunch. I've always had a soft spot for her, and I saw her as the cutest little round cat in my head. And to reflect this, I posed her in the least threatening way. Her body language is very friendly, and I wanted to convey that by having her stand more carefree and loose. In terms of fur color and patterning, I leaned more into the neutral gray-purple area for her, and I tinted her eyes slightly towards a purpley blue. Her fur was based off of a dark-colored Siamese cat, meaning the center of her face, ear tips, paws, and tail tip will be darker than the rest of her body. I also added some herbs and flower petals around her fur to indicate that she was a medicine cat. I ended up desaturating the purple a bit after I went back and revised a few things, so it looks slightly different in the end. It's an interesting combination for sure, and I love the way it turned out. Moving down the line <laughs> is Ashfur. Ashfur is described as a pale gray tom with dark flecks and dark blue eyes. I think Ashfur is one of the cats that the fan base has the most versatile designs for, being easily recognized in most fan art pieces. Being a fan favorite for many, he's taken on quite a few unique patterns and headcanons over the years. He's also one of the cats that I've seen with the most hairstyles on, ranging from blonde flowy hair to frosted tips to black emo bangs with red highlights, and the list goes on. So I like to think of Ashfur as having almost a medium length fur in some places to add to his spicy design. I was gonna give him some luscious locks, but then I thought he'd look too busy with them, so I went for a simple fringe instead. In terms of posing, I wanted to put him in a pose that hinted towards his cynical side. I wanted to let the viewers know he is revered as an evil character that was hidden by a friendly side in the beginning, so I drew him peeking over his shoulder. I also posed him this way because one of the most visually interesting points of Ashfur is his dark speckles. With him turned the way he is, I can show off his spots better. I based the markings off of a spotted tabby pelt. Coloring him was very fun for many reasons. My absolute 
favorite thing that I've seen repeated across many Ashford designs is the specks of red thrown into his eyes. This is either through the reflections hitting his eyes and bouncing back red, or red speckles on the cheeks, or a red line under his eyes that makes him look kind of tired all the time. I think this addition is so cool because to me it alludes to the iconic fire scene. The breaking point for him was that infamous confrontation scene. What comes after a huge fire? Dust, decay, and ash from things burning. So not only is his name alluding towards the fire, the overall climax of his plot revolved around fire. I kept this in mind when picking his colors and settled further into the warmer ranges of hues, alluding to his tie to flames. I did fudge away from his original description by making his eyes an icy blue rather than a deep dark blue, but color palette wise, this fits so much nicer and works with the red accents. Also, I know canonically he does not have a short tail, but I feel like a full tail would have been super distracting from his overall design. So I shortened it. Maybe he lost it in the fire or something. I don't know. I haven't thought far enough into this. <laughs> anyway, here is his design. And last but not least is the spicy little fella crow feather. He's defined as a dark, smoky gray, almost black Tom with blue eyes meaning he'll actually be the darkest of the bunch, even more so than Cinderkelt. The darker shades of gray, in my opinion, are harder to work with because it's really easy to fall into oversaturating the color and making them look not gray. <laughs> so he had to fit into a nice little middle ground for his color to work. For me, he was one of the designs that I have already had in my brain for a long time. He's been popularized by the map community to look a certain way, but I've adopted him into my headcanon Oriental short hair gang, along with Tallstar, Ravenpaw, and a few others. This breed is known for having sleek, narrow bodies, long muzzles, a tall stance, and large, floppy ears. I made him stand out further with more triangular, longer shapes, and a menacing no-hex-to-give expression. I posed him in a rather indifferent stance where he's just sitting. His face gives away most of his personality anyway. Since his design is the most flat colored out of all of them, with little to no accent markings, I needed to find a way to make his design interesting in another way. So playing into his name, actual crow feathers have this oil spill-esque colors to them when the light hits them, ranging from tinted purple to greenish. Not only is this reflected in his eyes, but it's incorporated throughout his pelt to resemble the feather more. It's also in his ears as the accent color, and I think it works so well. Crow feather is done, and here is how he turned out. The short but sweet challenge was fun and in my eyes, a success. I think all of them look very different from one another and have little things pointing towards their individual characters and personalities. Here's everyone side by side to separate out their differences. I think I managed to put a personal unique twist on each of the characters without changing their design so drastically that the character becomes unrecognizable. I really enjoyed the challenge. And if you're wanting to try it out for yourself, go check out the original prompt and see where your imagination takes you.